Rubella is a virus that's acquired either through respiratory droplets or transplacentally. The transplacental we'll come back to. It's a common childhood illness and is actually fairly mild. Symptoms include fever, some achiness, you feel bad, and a little rash that happened from head to toe that was little red bumps. Commonly known as the three-day measles or the German measles, it was a pretty mild illness. Now, it did have some complications. It would cause about one out of 3,000 people to have a hemorrhagic consequence, such as a GI bleed, bleed in the kidney, or bleed in the head. And about one out of every 6,000 cases could develop encephalitis, which was an infection or swelling of the brain, which usually resolved on its own. But that wasn't enough to do the vaccine. And to be honest, this is the one vaccine that's probably not given to protect your child. Now, that's not a reason not to give it, because the real consequences of rubella came as congenital rubella, spread from a mom that was pregnant who got rubella and given to her unborn child. Now, congenital rubella was severe. So prior to the vaccine, in the year between 1964 and 1965, we had about 12 and a half million cases of rubella. Of that, 20,000 cases of congenital rubella were identified, and it had devastating results. It resulted in 11,250 spontaneous miscarriages, 2,000 cases of neonatal death, which was death after the baby was born, 11,600 cases of deafness, 3,580 cases of blindness, and over 1,800 cases that were later identified as being mentally retarded. It had devastating responses, enough that the vaccine effort was redoubled. And in 1967, the vaccine was licensed. And following its widespread use, the incidence of rubella fell precipitously. As of 2004, in the United States, our country was ruled to be rubella endemic free. Although we still get some cases from immigrants or travelers who have not been completely vaccinated, this is something that is largely a disease of the past but we still have to be on our toes to keep it from happening. The vaccine itself is given in combination with the measles and mumps vaccine given between 12 and 15 months, and then again as a booster between four and six years old. It doesn't have any real side effects other than the fact that there's always the chance of having an allergic reaction to the vaccine component, and that's the only contraindication for getting the next vaccine.